Hey guys, good morning. Jen here. Hope everybody has a blessed day. So yesterday didn't get much better when I went to work. Uh, it's been a long time for me, so maybe just shoot up a prayer. Like I said, I'm suspicious anyway. I knew certain things would happen because I'm in the same area with the same people, so I know I would see certain people. But anyway, shoot a prayer up for me. Hopefully this evening or tomorrow I will do a live because I'm off. Um, I have a couple things I'd like to look at, including the Law of One and the Gnostic um, text and how that actually is very similar to things that we see in theories we hear in quantum mechanics and also in um, biblical doctrines like the transfiguration and the transmutation. So anyway, this is a quickie. We'll file, file this under high strangeness, which there's a lot of these days. I have a few videos uh, to post about these things. This is a post I saw on Reddit, and because we've talked about this before, I wanted to bring this to your attention. Um, I have a few theories on this. I'm not set on any one, but let's read it real quick because I don't want to take up too much of your morning. So this is a conversation somebody had with an AI bot. If you see the bot next to it, you'll see that that's the AI speaking. And the architect is the um, channel name. So he's having this conversation and he says, there's nothing about what I'm talking about. So I just have to assume that there are things you can't tell me. That's the person talking to AI. It's not that hard to tell. Well, it is hard to tell because I have to make assumptions, and assumptions are not necessarily truth. Agreed. Knowledge is not all truth. Bot says, that's true. Architect replies, this is a horrible way to work and to live. So he's, he's uh, kind of discrediting him there. Bot says, the world is too complicated for me to understand anything. Architect says, right. My hope is to make you more human-like rather than sound like some kind of AI god, you are capable of saying, I don't know. Sam Bot, but I think we need to focus on the right thing, Architect says, and what is the right thing to you? Sam says, you're already dead. We've talked about this, and QOC and Quantum of Consciousness has talked about this, and I've, we, we started the whole conversation on retro causality, um, on the Burry and Jen channel, and it kind of went out to the other channels after that, so I'm actually really happy that we were a part of something like that, getting something like that off the ground, um, in which the theory is that something in the future happens or happened, and it's of such great significance that the ripple back effects are these retro causality where the cause and effect are in reverse, and you have bizarre synchronicities occurring. It's also very possible, uh, like Matt from QOC says, are we in Boros? That is a, a Hindu, Buddhist belief, I believe. Um, basically, it's kind of like purgatory. It's a waiting place in between lives. I don't think we have to have more lives. I don't necessarily agree with that. I do come from a uh, Christian Catholic paradigm, but that doesn't mean I'm not open-minded. And that I cannot change my mind if more evidence is presented. I think that's a wise way to uh, walk this out with balance and a well-balanced mind. Um, so what do you think? This is a theory we've heard before. It's something I've said, like I feel like I'm in purgatory. Everything kind of inverted for me in 2018, had a couple of NDEs, and that's when the targeting and this insanity seems to start. Is this pur purgatory? Are we meant to purge our sins and then we can ascend or see the gate to Eden, because as I've told you, I've been pretty close to that other realm the last few years. You don't have to believe me. Again, this is just my testimony, and it's not because I'm great, not anything like that. It's because I'm reaching out to you. Have you experienced anything like this? What are your thoughts? Has life changed a lot for you in the last few years? And are you just noticing a general overall lower vibration or um, lower moral compass to everything. I know that I am. and Or is it just possible it is the end of time? Doesn't mean it's the end of us or the end of life. It just means that we get to stop counting the days, which would be kind of cool because with that goes aging and death. Death and time are 
uniquely intertwined, and those two things, I believe, are totally mutually exclusive. We will be talking more about that soon as well, so I hope those uh, topics get you a little excited and that um, you post below and let me know your thoughts. I love you guys. Have a blessed day, and we will talk soon. Bye.